I'm Morgan from Paradise Fibers and today I'm going to demonstrate how to do stacks and stack traps which are done when you're applying just some any old piece of uh, single ply um, and you start by applying as you regularly would and then we'll, to do a stack you slow your treadling down you choose one strand to be your tension strand and one strand to go to the side, which will create the stack. And then the piece that goes to the 90 degree angle, you back over what you've already spun, lead forward, and back over again. So this creates the effect of what some people might think of as like a mistake imply, but actually creates like a super interesting uh, effect for plying in art yarns. And so once you've learned how to do a stack like that, and I'll show you one more time, you take one strand and you keep the tension straight. You take the other strand and bring it to a 90 degree angle. You back over where you've already spun and then lead forward and go back and forth as much as you want to get it as tall or whatever effect you'd like. And then to anchor it on the other end, you pull the strand that was straight on from the orifice to a 90 degrees and let it wrap this way and then you go back to regular plane. And you might have overspun a little bit if you're treadling too fast, but that's not a problem. Just let your hands scoot the twist down. I have to pick up the tension a bit. I was caught, which can happen, so be careful. All right, and now to do a stack trap is similar to a stack, but instead we're gonna take a glob of a different color fiber and put it in the middle. So you start just like you would a regular trap or a stack, and you back up onto what you've already plied, and then you lay your piece of colored, or colored wool, though you could put yarn in here, honestly, like a blob of end cuttings. And then you start treadling again and let your ply wrap around and go back and forth across it to catch the little bobble however many times you want. And then you have to lock it back and anchor it back in place again. So you're gonna switch tensions so that the strand that was wrapping around the colored is now straight out from the orifice and the other strand is wrapping around the end of the trap. And then you continue to ply as normal. So I will show you how to do a stack trap one more time. It gets caught sometimes if you make them too big. Get to where you want to put your next one, which is a little bit further than this. And then start by anchoring your stack. So going back onto what you've already applied, laying down your glob of color and allowing the ply to wrap around it as many times as you want to get whatever effect you want. And then anchor at the other end by switching the tensions of your hands to wrap around and then Move on to continue plying as you did. And this is the effect of stacks and stack trapping, which you'll find in a lot of art yarns. And so then you'll have what, if, if you knit it, some regular looking stuff with a cool little glob of color, which also looks very nifty if you're weaving or working on a piece of crochet. So I'm Morgan from Paradise Fibers, and if you have any questions on this or anything else, uh, feel free to contact us at paradisefibers.com. Have a wonderful day.